Today we'll see how we can paint a clear blue sky and some clouds with acrylic paints. For that we need a white surface preferably like a white card or some stiff paper and a one inch broad flat brush preferably a synthetic hair flat brush. This is a 12 number brush. Now the first thing that you should do is dip the brush in water and just apply a little water all over. Just a little. This is for the free mobility of the thick acrylic paint. The next step that we do is to squeeze out some cerulean blue and white onto the palette or the cardboard and Dip the, dip the flat brush in water and collect some cerulean blue onto the brush and apply it, apply it from left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left. Please remember that in acrylics, this kind of a painting or this approach is totally wrong because this will lead to some kind of patches in the end. So the best way is to loosen the paint and start from one corner of the sheet to the other, go back. So back and forth, back and forth, back and forth till you are approximately midway. Now once this is done, start introducing some white. So I dip the brush in water, pick up some white and add the white a little away, not immediately, but a little away from the blue patch and then continue going upwards till this little weaker blue meets the stronger blue and try and even it out and then in the end wash the brush or rinse the brush thoroughly dry it on a, on a rag and pick up pure white and deposit the pure white at the base and then go upwards and allow the white to touch the weaker blue. So this way you get a very nice graded coat of blue which becomes your sky. So this is like painting a deep blue sky which is pretty heavy and dark at the top and gradually becomes paler as you look down. And this is exactly what happens in nature. If you look at the sky in nature you will find that the sky is pretty blue at the top and then gradually it becomes lighter and lighter. Now check out for accuracy. If you feel necessary, you may rinse the brush once again, dry it on the rag, dip it in pure white and start a kind of a reverse process. That is I start from bottom and I go upwards. At all costs, try and see that there is a gradual diminishing of tones from top to bottom. That means the sky must appear beautifully blue at the top and as your gaze comes down the sky must become paler and it is almost white at the end. So this is how we can paint a clean clear blue sky. Allow this to completely dry after which we can put some clouds in the sky. Now once this sky is dry, you can add clouds. Now interestingly, it's easier to do clouds with your fingers rather than using the brush. So you can take some amount of white onto the tip of your finger, very little, and transfer it wherever you feel you want to make the cloud and smear it gradually 
as if you are applying an ointment over an affected area of the body. Gradually pull it out till it dissipates into the so-called atmosphere. That means it must disappear. See, generally when you see clouds, you will find light striking the clouds from the top, illuminating the top portion of the, cl of the cloud while the rest of the cloud sort of becomes weaker and disappears into the sky. So this is exactly what I am doing with the help of the finger. And it's always easier to do this with the fingers because the brush interferes with the cloud and doesn't look very natural. Done with the fingers, the clouds in acrylic look pretty and very, very natural. You can do a few clouds and uh, they again should not be in a straight row. Nor should they be of the same size all over. Make different sizes. Put some small ones. But every time smearing with the finger and allowing the rest of the place, the rest of the cloud to disappear into the atmosphere. Same way, you can add one more here. Add a good amount of color because the top portion of the cloud receives maximum light whereas the lower portion disappears into the atmosphere. So this is the way you can easily paint natural looking clouds with acrylics. Finally, you may just wipe out your finger just to clean your fingers and yet make it look more natural as if there are some floating streaks of cloud in the sky. Very gently touched. And do not forget to move further. If you keep repeating over it, you will only get a circular kind of a patch, which will not look like a cloud. It will look like a cloud only if you further move around. So this is how you can paint a clear blue sky with a few clouds with acrylics. Thank you very much and if you have liked the video, please touch the press button or press the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much once again.